Over the course of the winter, we're going to receive a lot of squash. So we have to learn how to prepare it in a way that uh, kind of fits into our lifestyle and our what you know how much time we have throughout the day. So we're going to roast this butternut squash today, and then we're going to process it. And basically, we're going to run it through a food mill and create a product that we can add to soups, we can add it to stews, we can serve it as is, as a side dish, and do a lot of different things. So let's go ahead and get started. Not a whole lot to be said here. We're just gonna clean up this squash. You just take the spoon, shove it in, twirl it around, all of those seeds ought to come out, and go ahead and continue for all of the halves. Here's a fun way to clean up a whole clove of garlic at once. Just grab the whole clove, throw it in a bowl, put a matching bowl over the top, and shake it. Voila! Clean garlic. These are ready to go in the oven now, 350 degrees. Let's go ahead and say check it in 40 minutes. We're looking for it to be soft. Now the squash are out of the oven. You can see that the garlic roasted inside. Now here I very quickly scoop out all the inside of the squash right into the food mill. Stir, stir, stir. Stir, 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 and we're good. This base now can be used in soups and the stews. Pretty simple. I like to just add some bone broth right to this. I just add enough to get it to the consistency I want. Garnish with roasted pecans, good to go.